With cuts coming to the city's budget, a new class of school safety agents is on the chopping block. And to fill the void, Mayor Adams is suggesting parents need to step up as if they don't do enough already. Fox 5's Lizette Nunez is live outside PS9 in Prospect Heights, Brooklyn. With more, what's the mayor asking for, Lizette? Hey, good morning, Dan and Tashani. Yeah, parents already have a lot on their plate, and to ask for even more, well, some parents are saying it's just not realistic. Now, the union that represents school safety agents say that they're already down about 25% agents compared to where they were pre-pandemic, and they can't afford to lose any more. We have to do a real evaluation on where do we have the high need schools and uh, we're going to be leaning into uh, parents and parent groups to do some volunteerism. We're going to lean into our crisis management team. We have to pull it all hands on deck moment. Mayor Adams suggesting that public school parents may need to step in and volunteer to help keep schools safe. If it's public, it should be sponsored by the city. I don't think parents should have to improvise such a, an essential role. Um, I think there are better strategies. The city recently slashed its new class of 250 school safety agents. The mayor has given all city agencies until this month to cut 5% from their budgets and warned them to get ready for even more budget cuts amid the ongoing migrant crisis, which is estimated to cost $12 billion by 2025. There's got to be other ways to find money. But cutting public safety for our children, our teachers, and our parents in New York City public schools is no way to solve our budget problems. Hank Scheinkoff is a spokesperson for local 237 Teamsters, the union that represents 25,000 school safety agents. The union says the vast majority of agents are women of color who go through a 17-week training course. They are peace officers that do not carry weapons, adding that expecting parents to take on these roles is just not realistic and could pose a safety risk at school. It's absurd to suggest that parents should do the jobs that public sector workers are supposed to do. What's next? What do you pay taxes for? The mayor was asked whether this latest move could compromise school safety. We have been successful, unlike other municipalities, where they're having uh, shootings on school grounds. In some cases, of mass shootings. We have not had one shooting inside our schools because of the work of school safety agents and New York City Police Department. So let's talk budget cuts in general. The mayor says they plan on releasing their November plan tomorrow, but this is not the last of budget cuts. They expect another round in January. We're live in Prospect Heights, Brooklyn. Dan and Tashani will send things back inside.